Hi, welcome back. Feeding Crazy Custom Creations. I'm Miss Francis's Miss Jeannie. We've decided to do a couple more Halloween things, even though Halloween was yesterday. Um, I have, let me get you down and show you what I got. We have the bride and the groom and the reaper. And that's what we're going to pour. Now, the groom and the reaper are going to be in black. And I'm going to use Lutz Resin Black Mica Powder for that. And then I'm going to use some holographic black glitter from Hobby Lobby. And then in the bride, we're going to use the Torganol Pigment Pearl with a holographic diamond ultra fine glitter. So those that's what those are the colors we're using. And then I got a skull over here that needs to be finished. Now I'd already been warned and I did see Miss Wanda do them uh, about them leaning. So we've got we've taken some measures here to stop <laughs> them from leaning once once we get them poured. I don't know if I'm gonna turn the heat mat on. I'll probably just let them go ahead and set and then we'll finish the video tomorrow and I got some extra stuff over there for her to pour in case we I did mix up some extra for the skull we started it in the salmon let's resin let's resin glow in the dark salmon and we're gonna put salmon in it again with salmon uh, let's resin glow in the dark glitter then she has this one that Miss Stacy got me, which is the little alien with the peace sign. So she can pour that one if there's some left. Right now, that's in the vacuum machine debubbling. So I'm going to go ahead and get this black mixed up for the Reaper and that. And put some glitter in it. I usually pull that piece out if I can because it's, it's a pain. I can do it without stabbing myself. I'm trying to get it loose. Part of it. Well, I think there's a seal. No? Yes? That might, that might have been part of the reason why I couldn't get it <laughs> to open the rest of the way. That paper in there doesn't help. Maybe I can take my... Well, I was looking for my exacto knife, but I'm not sure where I put it. I thought I had one up here. See it. Because one there was one up here. Oh well, I'll finish opening it the correct way. As long as it's open enough so I can get some glitter out of it. Dump some glitter in there. And get it shut so it's not leaking everywhere. I 
And then I thought once I pour these in black that I use my Lutz Resin Chrome Silver Pen and kind of highlight them. the air out of that and I may have to run it again. I think I'm going to run it again for at least five minutes. Yeah, it's dark. probably got more here than I need, but that's fine, because I'm sure I can find something else to put it in. I got some other new Halloween molds over there that I didn't, I didn't get out and make anything with. I want to make sure I scrape this off and make sure I'm getting the pigment all mixed up. Get me a pick towel, please. Sure will. So I can lay this on it. There you go. Hopefully that one will be have the bubbles pulled out enough so we can mix it up. I'm gonna try and keep it up. Okay. So we might actually I know you're not gonna be able to see very well. I might move the bottles out of the way for the time being until we get until we get them poured and then we'll set the bottles back up there because it have to if we have to Jeannie can hold them I might go down just a little bit so you can see without it being too bright one more there you go alright I'm going to start with this one here, and we probably better set a bottle on the other side of it. But really, I don't really want to set the bottle there just yet because I'm going to have to bounce it around. I'm sure to make sure I don't make sure I'm pouring the groom and not the bride. Did it. Be careful. Nah. Wouldn't be my video if I didn't make a mess. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, I got it running down the side here. And all over my glove because I'm getting it everywhere. Yeah, well. I'll wipe it off better when I get done. I just don't want to have a bunch of air bubbles in the bottom of it. So let's get them going. Okay. Let's set that up against that bottle. And then I'll put the other bottle in front of it as soon as I'm done pouring.
almost. <laughs> Just look. Wow. Check the alcohol. Yeah, but it's it is leaning badly. And I feel that a little bit too full. Trying to hold it and get a pipette at the same time. and scrape it out of there either. Alright. Put that down there. Okay. I don't know which way it wants to go here. Still leaning. I have one more. Yeah, but yeah, we might have to. Let's let's move this one over a little bit, and then we can put one between them. That'll maybe maybe I don't know whether that one steady will steady both of them fit. We'll see. Come on, steady both of them there, maybe. She's really leaning bad. I haven't even started pulling that one yet. Okay. Uh, not very good left handed, but I'm going to try. Okay. Miss Jenny, why don't you see if you can squidgy it? Give it a squidgy widgy. else behind it, I don't know, we'll see. I got that too much black, but that's okay, gonna let this go over there, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, someone reminded me to, that this one leans. I can see it, really, and it's leaning more towards, seems like it's leaning more towards the side than it is forward. I don't know. Hold on here. The heck? I don't want to get it all over my timer. That's true. Um... Just hold it for a minute and I'll see what I can find. Because it's leaning, it's going towards the side. That's too wide. I need something smaller. I was going to set the alcohol there, but it's too wide of a bottle. And I need something that's heavy enough that it won't knock it over. And I can set that there. <sighs> if it doesn't fall off, that's what I'm afraid of. It's just barely sitting on the edge there. Hold on, let me see if I can move this over a little bit. Okay. <laughs> now. You can. I can. 
heard that little dab of blocking something over there. I'm going to stir this white up and hopefully I got enough mixed up with the girl because I'm not sure. I mean, we did pour alcohol in it. I just want to make sure I got enough, I hope. She's leaning too. mix some more up. Yep, sure didn't make enough. Really? Yeah, I could have sworn we measured it out enough, well enough. Let me set it this way. Yeah, I could have sworn we did. And she's leaning bad. I'll get her, I'll get some more mixed up for that one. Just a little bit. Probably another couple of ounces. I could have sworn I left enough out for her. I got some more in there. I can do I can use some of it and finish her off. Just pour it in something else. Okay. There. You're drinking too. <laughs> I've seen that. <laughs> okay, now I gotta get my white again. Get some more mixed up. Mix some more up so I can. Finish off her, but she's leaning bad. I don't know. I may have to figure out something different to do with that. I don't know what. I'd step on your, I'd step on your foot if it wasn't your back on your foot there. <laughs> you want to see me cry, don't yeah. you? Yeah, I would step. That's why I said I would step on it if I didn't know that it's your bad foot. <laughs> but I know it's your bad foot, so I wouldn't do that. Thank you. All right. I did not squidgy her. <laughs> color her some and I don't want a bunch of air bubbles especially in her flowers because I wanted to color her or her head really I can't get down to it very well I don't want to knock that reaper over she, she definitely leaning Bit of white left there. But I, she's leaning so bad that I don't know what to do to 
hold her straight up. And I got the bottle up against her as far as I can get it. Maybe if I turn it around the other way, I don't know if that'll help. It might. Well, there we go. She's lean, not leaning quite as bad as she was. But I've already dripped something down the side of her. Roaring off the side of it. I don't think I can make it any better. There's some white. Here. Alright, so I don't. Maybe if I turn that one a different way. I can keep her from leaning. I'm not gonna be able to. Not gonna be able to spritz with alcohol. Is this? Uh -uh. One, this one's alcohol, ain't it? I don't know. Yeah, I think it is. I think the clear one is water, and the blue one is that blue one's water. The other is alcohol. Yeah, it's definitely water. Careful. It's definitely alcohol. I don't want it. I'm going to turn it kind of sideways. Just to help hold him so he doesn't fall over. Alright. Let's get this other stuff down. Before this stuff gets too warm. Oh, oh you know. This is that one that was all chunky oh. the last time because I hadn't opened it. And I had a hard time getting it mixed up good. Yeah, it's still going to have chunks in there. But maybe I can get it mixed well enough. We're going to put some, throw off some. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie poopsie. I haven't opened that one. Uh oh. Fudge. I didn't realize I hadn't used the salmon. We're going to use it now. For that stole. And whatever else. This and one's going to be a mixture. Yeah, it's going to take me a while to get the. See if I can get all the. Little um, clumps out of this, but I don't think we put glitter in the other one when we poured the salmon. I don't think so. I don't think we put glitter in it, but you know, if there's enough left, even though that little one will be a mixture, I don't care. I'm not worried about that. No. And just to let y'all know, I'll probably post on my community tab. I think me and Miss Jean is going to do another live on Saturday at 6 p.m. again. I don't know what the project will be, but we're going to do something. Because we had, we had a blast the last live we did, so we're going to do it again. Because Jean will be going home in another week, so I kind of want to do another live. So I will post it and remind everybody. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I hope we got enough to at least fill that one. If there's some left over, no big deal, but I really hope there's enough to fill it. Yeah. 
just barely. Yeah, we're barely gonna make it. Make sure I get that plump taken care of before I get it in there. Either get it mixed up or pull it out of there or something. The alarm's going. Yeah, but alarm's going everywhere now. <laughs> I need to need to bring my miss. Miss Pebbles over here and show you her new little Christmas sweater that she got today. Yeah, she's already took it off once and I made her put it back on. <laughs> she's, she's not really thrilled about wearing it, so. And I, she won't look at you anyway. She hates to be on camera. So I'm going to get her so you can see her new little Christmas sweater she got today. My hands are clean, so. Come on, Miss Pebbles. Let's show them your little Christmas sweater you got today. There's her little Christmas sweater she got today. <laughs> she don't like it too much. She will when it gets real cold. She gonna like that little sweater. I thought it was cute. It's cute. Alright, get back in your chair. So mom can get stuff cleaned up. Alright, well. I guess we're... <laughs> we're done until tomorrow. When we unmold these, uh, or demold them, I'm going to try and spritz them again, maybe. I don't like spritzing them too much, but that white one, the bubbles seem to be coming up to the top. But maybe I won't spritz it. Maybe I'll, um, it's a little full. That's why I'm afraid to, I don't want to spritz. But I don't know if my heat gun would make it overflow either, so I don't know. And I tried not to fill it over. Yeah, I always overfill them. Yeah, but that's you, not me. <laughs> I always overfill, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at that. Let me unplug my vacuum machine here. If I can pop some bubbles. On the low. Well, I'm gonna get it down too too close to it, but Seems to have a lot of bubbles, which is weird. Because that one was, was the one that got ran through the vacuum machine, so I wouldn't think it had that many bubbles. Oops. 
Hit the other one with the cord. You'd be knocking it over. Okay. And I may have to do the other ones too because all my alcohol bottles are all sitting right there. This genie over here playing her own music here. Yeah. about as good as I can get it. All right, well, we'll see y'all in the more or sometime tomorrow when we unmold these. Bye for now. All right, we're back. We're going to demold the things that we did yesterday. Um, I see the bride's leaning, so I'm hoping she didn't cure that way. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. So let me get you down and move the stuff out of the way, and we're going to demold these. All right. Let's, these are alcohol. We might need one of those to clean. Okay. Or else I'm going to hang over there. And that's an alcohol. Water. I don't want to hang the water on the same one. No, no. Put water down there. This is water. And that last one's an alcohol. Water. That's my alcohol pump. All right. Oh, I didn't get my... Ah, they're upstairs, too. What? My chrome markers. It heated up so much it made a bubble in my silicone mat. Oh, no. <laughs> that one. That one's got bubbles, too. Oh, man. Oh, well, I'm going to have to go up and get my, this is the Reaper guy. I'm going to have to go get my uh, chrome pen because I wanted to do some highlights. Mm, he turned out cool. I like him. Yep. Let's put that one back <clears throat> in the box that it came in. Somewhere. There's the bag for the other ones, so hold on to that. That's okay. the bag for the bride and, bride and groom. groom. Let's get them all unmolded, and then I'll pause and go get the chrome pen and see if my other colored pins are up there. I got some down here, and some are oil-based, and some are not. And the acrylic ones just don't seem to don't seem to work too well. Okay. Here he is. And that was black mica powder with some black holographic glitter in it. So I was going to kind of just go down the little creases of his coat with some silver. I think that would look cool. Mm -hmm. Alright. Groom guy. Let's try and clean this mold off while I'm at it. All the extra pieces I spilled on it or overflowed it. I don't know. I don't remember how easy or hard these are to get out. Guess we're going to find out.
work the seal with my hand, I can get in there. Alright. Wow. There's the groom guy. There's the groom guy. I was going to kind of highlight him some with the silver also. see him with him standing up really well. I was laying down that way. Get it off the line of it. Get it off. back this way and then I can maybe well look around up there. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Alrighty. I like her too. I like her better in the white. I wouldn't have done hers both in Miss Wanda done both of hers in black. I kind of wanted the bride to be in white. So. And of course that light's too bright for you to really see her. I don't know if I can turn it down anymore. Let's turn it off for a moment. Because what I got is the light coming in from the window. And that's making it so you can't see. There she is. And I was going to color her little flowers. And she got flowers across her head. And maybe highlight her in some gold. So I'm going to have to go up and get my pins. Okay, that's those. Bride and groom. Candlestick holders, I'm assuming. I know Miss Wanda stuck her little skulls up there. Here's our... Salmon colored glow in the dark skull, which we'll have to make glow. I gotta start it from the back so I can break the seal. There's our salmon color, got some sparkles in it. He's gonna glow. For sure. Let's see what else. Oh, we did the little alien peace guide. This one is the one Miss Stacy sent me. He is a little bendy. His hand is anyway. But I think he'll be okay. <laughs> we didn't make him in green. Because I didn't have any glow in the dark green. I'm out. Gonna have to get some more because I'm out. There he is. And then we did the skeleton peace sign with the leftover white. There's the skeleton peace sign. Alright. Well, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to go up and get my markers. And we'll be back. Alright. I'm back. I got my Lutz Resin Chrome pens. Um, I think I want to do her... What I want to do is just the candle... Look like candle wax drips. I just want to highlight them in the gold. Just the top of them anyway. I'm not going to color the whole thing. I just want to go down the top. Down these drips in gold. And this will probably be the last Halloween I do for this year. Anyway. I had these and I wanted to get them done. So. This one here is my old one and it's about out of gold. Yep. I think 
I'm gonna get my new one out. It may finish this anyway. Maybe. That's why I bought me a new set, because Bella used my set to color something that she made. And she went to town with them. <laughs> By the time she got done coloring the back of her, I think she colored the back of a coaster she made. By the time she got done coloring the back of it gold, my gold pen was dry, almost. So I'm like, I probably better buy me another gold pen. I may have to have that one because this one's pretty dry. And I think I want to. I actually want to slip an apron on. Shaking those pens, I don't. I don't want it all over my new green shirt. Mm, yes. So I'm going to put this apron on so if I shake it and it sports somewhere, it's not getting all over my shirt, hopefully. All right. That new set, I need to get the gold out of there for me, please, because this one's not not going to finish. It's almost set it aside. That's right. That's silver. Copper. Yeah, that's copper. So this one's got to be gold. Yep. That's my new gold one. Because Ms. Bella was going to town on the old one, so I got a new set. I don't have any little skulls to glue on the top of mine, so. I think I will just save them and use them for maybe candles. I don't know. There you go. I don't know. I just wanted it to be highlighted, so... Yeah, I guess I could do our flowers in gold too, but I kind of like colors, so I was thinking I'd do our flowers in colors. And I see he's got a boutonniere on, and he's got some flowers around his hat, so we have to do his flowers too. dress gold because that's what I'm doing the other stuff in I do have to get my dragon head out too because I got to get a dragon made got some time on it but I'm gonna have to get it made. Oh, I'm gonna need one of those alcohol wipes too. Cause I just made went off the I went off the the rail there. Uh oh. <laughs> went off the reservation. Yep. I gotta, <laughs> gotta get it off of there before it gets too dry. 
I won't get it off. my fingers in it. Try not to get my fingers in the rest of them that I did. Did it again. Uh oh. Well, you know. That's how I roll. I make messes. <laughs> I make lots of messes. Lots and lots, huh? I don't know, dude. Yeah, Wanda said she, she didn't know what if she was going to do her live today on her video. Something about her daughter was working four to twelve. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I guess we'll have to look. Have to look and see if she's got it listed that she's doing a live tonight. Because those lives are fun. Mm -hmm. That's why Miss Jeannie and I are going to do another live on Saturday at 6, the same time. Because she'll be going back home soon. And we're going to do another live while she's here. I think that one was, we were going to try and do, I'm going to try and do Christmas theme. But it just depends on if I can find all the items I want to do. And they're just little crafts. But I gotta see if I can find them all. Because I don't I may have to go buy some stuff. If I don't have all the stuff to make it. Plus I need to paint the bells. They have to be painted. So I'm gonna have to paint them so they'll be dry for Saturday. <clears throat> These are kind of harder to paint. Let me get that paint off of there before I before it dries too much. I might have to do the I have to do her top too, around the top. I don't know. Alright, well, you know, try and get this finished and then we'll, I might color her other stuff off camera. Because you pretty much know, anybody knows how to color or highlight, which whatever you want to call it. I don't know where I'll put them. We'll find a spot. I 
Is if they stay here. They can stay here. Mm. Yeah. She's gonna have a whole box of stuff to take home before she, before <laughs> she goes anyway. Because she missed stuff the last time she was here. Stuff that I made from Mr. Allen didn't make it home. Because he was a winner. And then I drew his name, which I'm kind of working on that too. I'm trying to figure out uh, a way to start emptying out my sugar skull. But I don't know if a lot of people do resin. Um, I know a lot of several people who watch mine do. So I was gonna promise Jeannie is here to help. We're gonna spend a day going through my molds and because some I got a lot of doubles. And I don't, I don't need doubles of them. Some I even got triples. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> that little mushroom thing. That little <laughs> mushroom house. Man, I ordered it. I thought I just ordered one from Timu. But I must have had one in my wish list. And it went ahead and sent me, I had two of them. And then I actually ended up with three of them. <laughs> so I sent, I believe, I'm not positive, I think I might have sent it to somebody. I might have sent it to Jackie. Jackie G. I think I might have sent it to her. Because I had so many of them. Alright, that's, I don't know if I highlight the top in gold or not. But that's what I got done so far. Look at that boy so you can see. Now, as far as her flowers and stuff go, I have these Shuttle Art acrylic paint markers. I don't like that they're waterproof. I got these from Timu. I don't like that they're waterproof, but and I have some oil base over there, but there's all kinds of colors in here, so we're gonna we're gonna color up her. Well, maybe we are. I don't know how that lid came off so easily. Unless Miss Bella didn't get it back on there. Good, Miss Bella. <laughs> I hope she didn't dry it out. But if she did, she did. Dang it, Kay. Stick your finger in it. Well, you always said you're messy. Yeah. Well, this one may be dried up. Well, crud. That ain't working. hear anything. I don't hear nothing shaking in there. I was just trying to highlight her little flowers some. I may do it in several different colors and make it look like she's got some different colored flowers. Yeah. She got a bouquet of different colored flowers there. Let's get some yellow out. Is that bright yellow? Maybe not. Well, let's 
that's a little yellow ribbon there, though. Trying not to stick my hand in the gold. I need some green. Stems of her flowers here. They're very dark green. Oh, that's okay. Doesn't have to be dark. Just so you can tell I highlighted it. don't know I, I like to color <laughs> <laughs> so I color a lot all right now I do think she has some I should have let that gold set and dry really but I need it here so I can see better there's a little green leaves there sticking out There's any more leaves that are not there. Yeah. I don't know if that's a particular leaf, too. I don't know if that's. That looks like flower petals there. This one is green. Looks like a leaf poking in it. I think I'm going to end up going to the Dollar Tree again today and see if they have what I want. See if they have the bells that I want for my Christmas theme. What I was going to make for Christmas. Some little Christmas crafts. I will show you. I mean, everybody knows how to color. I may just show you what it looks like after I'm done. And uh, show you what I'm going to do to the groom. Because I think he's going to be silver instead of gold. Um, I did do pink a little bit, but I don't know if I can get enough pink out of this thing to do it. It's still recording. My phone rings. I gotta stop it from ringing through my laptop. Because when it rings, it takes my laptop back to the main screen. And I'm sure you can hear me talking. Occasionally, you might hear me say some word, not so nice words. <laughs> I don't know if I should just turn the phone off or you know even if I don't bring it down here it's gonna ring 
through my laptop. And I don't want it to, but it does. Even if my phone's upstairs. At least I must have the silent turned on. Mm-hmm. Because all it did was vibrate. I didn't recognize the number, so I wasn't going to answer it. I just figure if people really want to talk to me, and it's a number I don't recognize, they'll leave a message. If they don't leave a message, then... They didn't want to talk. They didn't want to talk to me bad enough. That could be a lead, but... I'm gonna, I'm gonna color it as a petal. If I quit missing it. Got a little spot I need to fill in there. Oh, got this one. sure you're going to be able to see what I what I did really this is getting pink on her head <laughs> yeah, I got it off okay <sighs> that light is, is so bright I don't know if zooming you in is going to help See, I colored her little flowers on her head, and then I colored her little bouquet. And then I colored all the wax drips in gold, and we went around the bottom in gold. It'll probably come out better in a picture than it's going to on there. I can't do anything about the sunlight coming in there. Alright, I might go around the top edge with some gold. Because that's the top of the wax. And I thought about highlighting her dress, but I don't know. That's a lot of gold, and I don't want to use my whole pin up. So I'm just going to kind of just do it lightly. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, I'm sticking it, my fingers in the back half there, and it's not quite dry. <laughs> I need to quit sticking my fingers in it. All right, well, that's that's all I'm doing. I'll get a picture of her. I don't know what I. There's a couple of spots, but that's okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna repaint them. There she is. All right. His wax is gonna be. Now yeah, let's do the reaper first. I'm just gonna do some creases on his. Just do some. creases of his jacket, maybe. I'm not going to do the whole thing.
I don't like it blue. Mm -hmm. This is a little more character. And this mold was sent to me by Miss Coral from Coral Marines Resin Art. She sent me this one. It was one of my blessings. she done one or not yep I hope someone told her the same thing that they told me because this one doesn't it does not want to stand up very well same as the bride and groom they didn't stand up very well either they had to be propped up and someone told me that I would have to prop this one up. But I didn't think about the... I didn't think about it getting so warm that it was going to poop up my mat, though. Oh, well. You never know. I didn't turn on my heat mat. I just left them for the night. I don't know that I want to do much more, really. I just kind of wanted to highlight them. There he is. I just kind of highlighted the wrinkles in his cape, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do these, and then we'll be done. I'll take my picture and try and get this one up today. And then figure out something for tomorrow. I don't know what that's going to be. I do have some Christmas stuff, really. I mean, I think I have some Christmas bulbs, uh, ornaments, that I could do. I think we'll have to wear some. The stocking caps I just made on the next video. Don't you think? I think we should. Yeah. I think you should. I should. <laughs> you should. Oh, no, 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 no. In other words, it's the we, huh? It's the we. We should. Uh-huh. And I don't have a mouse in my pocket, so that would be you. Are you pregnant? Nope. Oh, okay. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that couldn't happen. Okay. So. And if it did, I'd be awfully rich. Oh, yes. Ha! Ah, missed that one again. Dang it. Trying to do it quickly, and I'm making a mess here. I didn't know 
what I was going to color them all, so where I was just trying to do the drips. thought you were going to do his flowers. I am, but I don't know if I'm going to do it until I, until this dries. Yeah. Because I stuck my fingers in it last time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to get this spot where I just went off. Little spots I don't care about. Those big ones I I really don't like that. It's hard to stay on there. Stay in the line, stay in the line. I got to thank the little girls across the street for the cards that they made me. Because sometimes I know their mama watches. Thank Ina and... Romina and Maris for the little Halloween cards that they drew me and brought over to me. Because I got them something special for Halloween because I knew they'd be coming over to trick or treat. So I got them each a little Halloween Pez dispenser for Halloween along with the candy that I gave them. So. Because my granddaughters, my granddaughter and my grandson didn't, don't come over here for Halloween, so. I would have got them one too, but they don't come over. They stay in their neighborhood. And they kind of live in a fancier neighborhood than I do. Not saying that my neighborhood's bad, but. They live in a bigger neighborhood than mine. So. I don't know if I, well, you know, I did the bride, so I probably ought to do the groom, too. Probably ought to go around the bottom of him in the silver. Because I did her. But I went off again, too. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, at least that's me being nice. Mm hmm. Miss Bella said that Grandma needed some crazy grandma t shirts. So I had some crazy grandma t shirts coming. <laughs> I should have ordered her one too because she's the one that says I'm a crazy grandma. So I should have ordered her one that said something about don't mess with me. My grandma's crazy and I'm not afraid to use her. There you go. I got a comment on Miss Wanda's video. I watched it. I just haven't commented on it yet. Miss Jeannie told me when I got up that Miss Wanda had a new video, so I watched it. I wish they'd let you comment on your TV, but they won't. You can't do it. 
I did like it. I just got to write her a comment. Always let her know that I watched her video and what I think about what she made. She did some cute stuff. I love that cross. And it just got me thinking about all the little Christmas stuff that we used to make around Christmas time. The Carpenter family used to make. We made all kinds of Christmas stuff. Because whatever their mom, whatever my mother-in-law decided she was making or wanted to make, it was a family thing. We all got together. We all had our own little jobs. Mine was bow tying, I believe. I hot glued stuff, but I also tied little tiny bows. And I mean tiny, tiny. bows. <laughs> and she always made stuff for her grandkids to take to school to hand out. Which, you know, she made some candy cane stuff. And little decorations for them to wear. I'm going to try and see if I can find the stuff to make some little Christmas crafts on Saturday. Just easy ones for everybody. Because I think that that'd be a fun thing to do. And, you know, I just got to make sure I got all the stuff for them. Because I ended up with her craft room, so. Oh, you know, I don't know why I did that. Um, let me see if I can spin him around. Because I was going to do his, I was going to hit his button on his seat with this silver. If I could see it well enough and not make a mess. Alright, there's his button. He looks like he's got flowers. I need a... Huh. Well, this needs to kind of be the same color as hers, I think. If I can get them. Yeah, because that paint's going to show up good on the black. Mm -hmm. Make one little flower pink. I don't know that I'm going to get purple and yellow both on there. It's not that big a flower. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll try and get some purple in there. And maybe a little bit of yellow. Make it match hers. Get a little green. I can't see those very well on the hat. He does have some flowers on his hat, though. Yeah, I'm just going to color what I color on there and use the three colors that I used on hers. Those. 
the bottom of this pod. Then we'll make the rest of it pink. my silver all up. some ultra fine markers really I do even those say fine but they ain't fine enough really need some ultra fine He'd swear that we went off and left him forever. As, as much as he's crying up there. I could have brought him down, but. Pebbles is laying under I her think blankie. she's under her blankie over there. do that. Can't get this hat either. Dang it. Can't lean him all the way over. I think I just wiped off my green. <laughs> oh well. Set my finger in it too. I'm trying to figure out how to turn him around without sticking my finger in it. I think that's everything. I I don't know that I'd be able to make that skull. I might be able to make it glow. With your big light. With my big light and stick it in the in the little light box might be dark enough. I don't know. We'll have to see. Come on, markers. All right, let me see if I can, of course, I still have to take the camera over there so they can see it. I mean, it's, I can make it dark in there. So it'll glow, really. I just gotta get all the stuff away from me. that I can make it go all that dark. We'll see. I'll take the camera over there in a minute so I can see if I can make him glow enough so y'all can see. Might have to turn that light off back there. I mean, I got enough light coming in the window that it's not going to make it fully dark in here, but he'll be darker in the box than he's going to be. Alright. 
Sorry for the shaking around here. I gotta grab my camera to move you over here so you can see in the light box. In the photo box. Was Lutz Resin Glow in the Dark Salmon and Lutz Resin Glow in the Dark Glitter Salmon. So, there you go. Get my camera back where I had it, which might be a little rough here. I need to clean my table off again. I got too much junk. I got too much junk in my table. All right, let's do my shout outs. Wanda's Blessed Creations, Stacy underscore the Crafty Cat, Rez C. Liz, India Brady Art, Art by Me, Andrew Walker, Billy Holman Creations, Cosmic Carol's Creations, Artsy Doodles, Roseanne's Crafting Corner, Coral Marines Resin Art, Crafting with Carla, Cynthia's Crafts and More, Amy's Resin Corner, TLC's Handmade Hayloft, and that is all. Um, we will, I'll get some pictures taken and get the video up and we'll, well, we'll probably talk to some of you on Wanda's Live tonight if she has a live. And don't forget, we're doing a live Saturday, November 4th, 6 p.m. like we did last time. And it'll probably be Christmas stuff. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see what I come up with. All right. Bye for now.